Surviving storms. Surviving storms. Surviving storms. For sure, it taught me a lot, but it taught me a very important um, lesson in that. In everything, in every adversity, we cannot forget that there's a creator, that we have to call on him so that he can help us to get through these difficult times. And not, do not place emphasis on material things. Life is so much more precious. Where you saw we lost, because I think we lost about 11 or more lives in Lubia. You know, and uh, for one guy in particular, we lost a lot of young people, but we had that young guy, Cleve, Cleve Lebla, and there was nobody that he did not help in the community. So just losing him during Ma Maria, because he was trying to help another young person that the river was carrying away, and he herself got washed away in that. So he is one that we really miss, because you could have counted on him to help you in anything, and he would not say no. So it was difficult, but lessons learned and good lessons at that. Mm -hmm. okay. What are your future hopes for the village? We have a number of things I would like to see um, addressed in the community. For example, where I'm living now, the community has come together and we're rehabilitating our road. That was one of the roads that the river actually took after Maria. So every Saturday we come together, we cook for the community and the, 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 the men in, in, in the community, they come together and we do a piece of road. It's been off for a couple of weeks because of lack of material, but that is one of our aims. So to see that part of the community develop, we have our playing field that has been sitting for a few years now in rains and Maria just made it worse. Um, the, the village council is trying their best to see how they go about getting it on par, but um, it will take a lot. So our young people, have, we love our playing field because that's where we, we used to have all our activities. So for me, our, our playing field is the main, um, the main area in the community that I would like to see get back to where it used to be or even better than that. And, and, and debris that the river and the road made one. So we, we used to put planks and walk, walk over and then all the mess between the two rivers because remember the two rivers kind of collided and uh, all that muck and, and, and big logs you saw logs oh <laughs> and to be to be going through that for me it took me a while to actually accept it mm -hmm. and uh, one of my getaway as i said to you was going to Guadeloupe mm -hmm. because i saw what erica did and i saw how it affected me emotionally and i didn't want mario to have that same effect on me so Probably every two months or so, we would just escape and go visit my mom in Guadeloupe, mm -hmm. stay for a while, and then come back. And it felt good because even after after Maria, the the mosquitoes so <laughs> people could not cope, and there was no no um, mosquito coils or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But for me, I was able to go go to Guadeloupe, get a few mosquito bats, you know, get the nets to put on on the door, the magnetic nets, you know, mm -hmm. and you know. Just live a little better than, than some, but you have to do something for your comfort, you know? But it's just that the lives we lost, because right there we lost a lady. The, the landslide came and she got trapped. And her family could not get her out. So I think after that she suffered a heart attack. Even not too long ago, I was talking to her, her grandson and he told me, you know that we buried her. We had to bury her right there. So, so she was buried. In the yard. She's buried here in the yard. Mm -hmm. There, because at the time the officers came and thought she was she began to decompose. Mm -hmm. So they just had to just dig a hole and bury her there. Mm -hmm. And then we lost a six-month-old baby just down the road. Mm -hmm. Yes, they, the the river. By the time the river came and they they were on that side, um, it just became too much. So. It really came, became too much. Hmm? Yes, because the mother had, I think, a two-year-old and a baby, and uh, like the river just came into the house. Sometimes she grabbed, 
the baby slid out of her hand and time she tried to. <clears throat> losing Jal, losing Myrtle and Moya. And it's like coming to the reality of it. That was the hardest part because you just mm, expect. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because we spoke about him, yes. Right. And you know that he was one of the persons. You just call on him. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and to see that he lost his life trying to help. 